Ahoy, me hearties, and welcome to the Republic of Pirates. I'm Captain Greenbottle, and we are ready to jump into a brand new world full of pirates and treasury and trickery and deceit and deception, and it's all going to be very, very good. Now, I did play the demo very briefly during that Steam Fest, but then this game was coming out, and I was just so excited. I had to get it straight away. So let's jump in to a brand new game. Now, we're going to be going here on the forgotten... Oh my goodness, can I say this word? Archip... Archipelago, Archipelago, Archipelago. Maybe they'll teach us how to say it. And medium difficulty sounds good. Let's start. Greed. It tears us all down eventually. Heck, that's what this is all about. We rob, we plunder, we kill. All for a bit more wealth and another day of freedom. But we all know the truth. There's only one way out of this pirate life. And if it's not at the end of a rope, it's usually a shot in the back from a pistol of a crewmate. The Republic of Pirates was meant to be different. But the greed got to them too. Turning on one another like that. Damn shame what they did to your old man. And now they're carving up the archipelago between the three of their crews. Lucky Jack Howell and the self-proclaimed raiders of the Caribbean. Scar and his gallows men. And Matilda Barbero, leader of Los Guerreros. They had it all. Spanish gold by the galleon and a nice slice of the Caribbean to call home. They couldn't play nice, could they? Well, if it's revenge you want, I'm with you. I owe your old man that much. We're one ship against three fleets, but they aren't expecting us. We'll make for the archipelago and set up on an isolated island before they get wind of our intentions. Revenge for your father and the chance to build something better. And we head down onto our little ship here. This is the archipelago. All right, but it's far too dangerous to continue on the open. Let's stick to the shallows for now. Thanks, John Artley. Let's sail. All right, making our way through these shallow waters, we can be picking up some of these crates and we get uh, doubloons and timber from them. And we're going to need to collect all those supplies because this is a settlement building game as much as it is a pirate fighting in the open waters game. And I am very, very excited about that. Now, this is the Wanderlust, a cog ship, and it does have a gun turret. However, this is a big, scary pirate ship. And better than trying to fight them that's much bigger than us, we need to just outmaneuver them because that's what we've got. We've got a small little nimble boat and we can cruise around much easier than this big pirate ship. And we get to the land that we're about to call home. All right, so we need to build a dock. The dock can go right here. And if we zoom out a little bit, we can see what we're working with here. Lots and lots of land. Now the docks need to be connected to roads to function and if we put in some huts we can get some able-bodied workers who are looking to come and make this their new home if we make it comfortable enough for them. So let's put in a nice road coming back from the edge of this into the woods here. We'll just stretch it out far. I don't know how far we need to make it. It does clear the trees around where we put these. I don't know like how far we can build down on the beach. But we might want to be a little bit tucked away from the water's edge. I'm not really sure. All right, we need to build five huts, though. So let's decide, I guess. Oh, there's a captain's inn wreckage back there in the woods. Eligible pirate captains can be recruited at the captain's inn. The total number of pirate captains is displayed here. Captain is must be placed in captain's inn wreckages. I bet you that comes up a bit later. Let's build towards that, then. Let's make this where we kind of put the huts in the marketplace. And we can do sort of farming other business on the other side. Let's build straight up to that, actually. Then we'll be ready to have that connected when it, the time comes. Now, huts are three by threes, and we need to put five in, so I think I'll just stick five down in a row here. There we go. Now, certain buildings such as brothels and taverns fulfill the wants of workers in the surrounding area. And if your buildings get to be too far away from their area of reach, then those people won't have the benefit of, for example, in this case, the marketplace. These people down here, where it's no longer green or yellow, can't actually access the marketplace and therefore they're not going to benefit from it. So we need to keep that in mind. We need to make sure that we put, I don't know, our brothels, our taverns and our marketplaces in the middle and put our houses kind of around it so that they don't forget too, too far away. And funnily enough, the next thing is to build a marketplace. So we might want to plan out where we're going to be putting some of these other things then. So houses are that big. They need to be, of course, on a road. But 
How big is the marketplace? It's a six by six. And the houses are three by three. So if we want one, two, three, maybe another row of houses in along here. I'm gonna just build that straight across. Then the marketplace could go in the middle here somewhere or even more in the middle. So what if we did one, two, three, one, two, three, and the marketplace could go in this corner. I'm hoping that's gonna be close enough. If we put a road across, it might be. Yes, okay, I, love, I just needed to put a road across there and now they can get to the marketplace, no problem. And I think probably the same along here and such, we just need to grid it up to make sure it can access via the roads because if they have to go all the way around, it's too far and it loses it. That's sort of on the cusp there of not being close enough. So I think that's going to work. Now, people always need a location where they can get what they want. Proximity to a marketplace is a need for a laborers and hired hands. So if we click on the houses on one house, not on two, we can see what they need. They need fish. They need a marketplace and they need rope, but they want rum and brothels. They don't need those. All right. The next thing we need to do, though, is come back to our ship. Now that we've got some people in sort of sorted out there, they need to go and pick up the debris around. So there's debris way over here, but we want to be examining all the stuff in this sunken ship. So let's just select it. We can select multiple things. Our ship will just kind of go over there kind of in order and collect all of the bits. And we're getting all sorts of things now. So lots of doubloons and timber. And we also got a figurehead decoration. Now, one of the things I love, 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 love about this game is when you click on the ship, you can hear some sea shanties sung by the pirates aboard. And I absolutely love that. I have a real soft spot for sea shanties. Um, as you might know, I live in England and I was once out at uh, a little festival that was held in my local area and there was this band playing and they played sea shanties and they're called the salts and do you know what? i'll leave if they've got a youtube i'll leave a link down down below so you can check them out because they sing sea shanties and they're fabulous they're wonderful and highly underrated all right the figurehead de decoration though needs to be built we need to start decorating this place up so let's stick that figurehead in as soon as you get off the boat that's what you get to see she's just looking at you that looks really cool so they'd come off the dock on that side and see it. Salvaging materials from wrecks is good and all, but we've got plenty of resources at our fingertips on the island too. We'll need a steady supply of wood for what's to come. All right, so I think if this side's going to be where we're putting our houses over here, let's get the resources from this side over here. So we're gonna need to build a road that goes back into the woods a bit, but not too far, I suppose. And then we need the construction. We need a woodcutter's lodge. Now, the woodcutter's lodge doesn't want other buildings too close by, or it won't be as effective. So might just stick it at the end of this road. We could always skirt around it later. Or do I want to just put it actually tucked away somewhere so that we aren't tempted to build in its zone? Um, Because yeah, if we put it like where the road goes like right through it, we do go down to 97% effectiveness. I don't know how much that matters though. I guess let's just stick it there. People can get to it. We also have some production buildings that we're going to need to be putting in. So we need the sawmill. Now we can't put the sawmill here because of course that would take away from its production, but if we put it here, it's fine. So we can have it just a little ways down. Um, I think that would work. We'll give it a bit of a wide berth there. So get the wood, bring it over to the sawmill. We should set up a couple of lads to be moving goods from place to place. It's more efficient to dump materials at a depot so they don't have to carry them so far. So we need to build a depot. Oh, you can see it also has an area then where it's gonna be able to carry things. Let's put this one at the crossroads maybe? As I feel like we're gonna be bringing in resources from all over. So if we have some things been going on down here, we might want to bring them over to the marketplace. So we'll see. We might also need a couple of these. We can also rotate these. Uh, let's just stick it in there. The more we provide for our workers, the happier they'll be. The happier they are, the more they'll contribute. Uh, cutthroat pirates have needs too, you know? Of course, of course. So we are going to need fish because that's the next thing that our pirates are needing. So down here in our needs, we have a fishing wharf and we might want to place that in. I wonder how close I'm going to place that in right beside our other dock. We spotted some floating barrels not far from the coast. It might be nothing, but it could be something too. All right, hold on. I need to get this set up. So we need a little road going along here to make sure we can get our fish. And then workers should go and get fish and bring them to the marketplace and life should be quite good. All right, there's quite a lot of stuff out there. So let's go inspect. We'll grab those planks and we can go inspect whatever this is. Oh, some doubloons and some more timber. And there's another one here. Uh, let's see. Press to select floating debris in 
Three, to be collected automatically if in range. Oh, I wonder how we do that. Well, the barrels are completely empty except for a bunch of letters from the British West Indies Company about claiming some island or another. Nothing that mentions treasure. Okay, we still have some other barrels though. All right, a ship is coming in. That's not our ship. And who might this be? It's Mary Connor. Mary Connor, here's someone you want on your side in a fight. She's a tough old gal, can hold her own in a naval battle or a tavern brawl just the same, that men all look up to her. She was once at Jack's right hand. He must have done something really stupid to make her mad, besides knocking off your old man, that is. If we're going toe to toe with the former Republic, we could do with her directing our ships and not theirs. John, is that you? Thank goodness I found you here. Jack double crossed me. Well, I was trying to betray him first and he found out, so. Anyway, the fair lady's in a pretty bad state. Help us out, won't you? All right, deal, we'll help you out. All right, we've got the fair lady here now. Oh my goodness, that's some black lipstick, that is. Uh, let's give that a repair because that's what she needs. Captain, the men reported several ships heading directly for us. Looks like we've been discovered. Let's put the fair lady's firepower to some use. Uh-oh. Use the tactical map to locate advancing ships. So if we zone out too far, we can see the whole map and we can see those ships coming right towards us. So we need to be ready. Now let's take a look, where are we? Ah, there they are. We're not ready, we're so not ready. Fire. Here, they both have a cooldown. We've taken a little bit of damage here. Don't let us die. Oh, we've leveled up, which heals us. All right, excellent. Thank you, Captain. I think the lads and I are a capable pair of hands with you. We'll be staying a mite longer if you don't mind. How about a drink to celebrate living one more day, eh? All right, I feel like we need to get our ship healed up just to make sure that they stay in tip-top shape because we cannot afford to have those go down. Interact with the hut to see what the workers need. We've done that, okay, so they still need rope and they of course want rum and a brothel. We need 200 laborers and currently we only have 38. So we're gonna need some more housing and we need to provide the workers with rum and rope. So let's put in some more huts, another string of huts along here and I think probably along here as well. We'll have to see as how many huts we need to make 200, that's gonna slowly fill up. Let's also look at our wants. So rum distillery needs a sugar plantation. So we need to find a spot to start harvesting sugar. Now that's the perfect size for it, but we're gonna be putting houses in there. So it is a nine by nine. So I guess maybe out here somewhere we could put that. Maybe we'll go out a bit further. So one, two, three. It technically would fit in there, but I'm thinking we put it in here. like down further. We just to make sure we don't get too close to that. Yeah, that's still at 100% even though I've cleared away those trees. So let's just put a road in here for the wants now. The sugar cane plantation can go right in there. Now we click on the sugar cane plantation and we need to we need to actually plant the sugar cane. So we drag that out like that. And there we go. So that is now Oh no, we didn't put a road in. <laughs> Sorry, I can't actually get in. I'm gonna to need to delete some of this. All right, we just need to delete a couple of those there. We need to put a road in so that I can actually get into the sugarcane plantation. That's usually quite helpful and just fix that one that I accidentally broke there. All right, that is now up and running. So that is our sugarcane plantation. I could put a road in across here uh, just for more maneuverability and then maybe another farm in here. If we need more sugarcane, possibly that will go in here. Now our tavern, oh, this is a rum distillery. I'm assuming a rum distillery is not the same thing as a tavern. This is where we actually are going to be making it. So let's put that, I mean, close by makes sense, but maybe across the road, maybe beside our storage. Hmm. Yeah, we'll put it over there. I don't know if this makes sense, but there we go. That's where we're growing our sugarcane at this little farm here. And then you just have to come over here. Insufficient amount of materials and storage. That's because I don't have any sugarcane grown yet. And looks like all of those houses has only got us up to 94. And this little tooltip is still telling us to select floating debris to be automatically collected if in range. So I'm not sure what I need to click to make it do that. Oh, it's gone away now. We'll just see. I feel like he needs to be over here, but hopefully he'll just go and collect things. I don't think he will though, but you never know. Right, we need more houses. So I was gonna put in a section like that and then a couple more going this direction. Let's just check and yeah, it looks like we could still put a few more going this way and it would still be fine. Although I can't actually. No, we're not going to go any further that way because we've got that uh, the captain's inn wreckage down there at the end. But we can do that. So we've got another little settlement there. Bring this road across here because that house didn't have anything. And yeah, all of these have access. That is a little annoying that those don't like line up like that, I guess because I made this one quite a big little neighborhood. But I think that's okay. And then we could do the same over here. Although actually we're gonna need a bit of space in here for the taverns and brothels, I suppose. Hopefully the brothels will reach all the way over to there. So we don't have those just yet. 
We do need to do the rope still, which is a hemp plantation. Now we could do a hemp plantation here. We've kind of left a space for it. I wonder how many of these we're actually going to need in the end. I know from playing the demo, there's also cotton that we're gonna have to think about in the future. But I'm wondering how many, are we gonna need two of each of these? I guess if we do, they could be further away. We could have like multiple like smaller settlements maybe. So let's put the road going out like that, the same. And then we need to plant the actual hemp saplings. And then we can bring the road around like that as well. And then the other thing, cause they need the rope, they need a rope maker, of course. So I guess I'm just gonna put it down here next to the brewery. I, this is like a little manufacturing part of land. But Isabella Rojas is here, the lovely Isabella Rojas. Cunning, pragmatic, seductive, everything a good madam needs to be. She worked under Jack for a long time, but he could never see past her soft skin and appreciate the tact and charm underneath. I'm glad she gave that lecherous, not very nice guy, to taste of his own medicine. The brothel girls trust Isabella with their lives and she does everything in her power to make them comfortable. I think she'll be invaluable to our cause. Just try not to fall for that alluring look in her eyes, you hear? I accept. Captain, I'm happy to make your acquaintance. My name is Isabella, and I have a proposition which might be of interest to you. The men, they need a little distraction, wouldn't you say? All right, so we now have the need, the, I guess it's not a need, <laughs> that's the wrong one. It's the want of a brothel. Now, of course, the want of a brothel, actually, it's not even that, it's a amenity. Okay, so it needs to be able to reach all those houses. We may have to have multiple of these though. Because yeah, it's not going to get to the other side. It has quite a small radius. I mean, we could put one in here, but we're going to have to put one in over on this side anyways. So maybe I'll put one in. Okay, maybe next to this like captain's hut. That feels like a place where you'd have, you'd have a brothel down at this end of town. Uh, next to this captain's inn. So there we go. We've got a brothel down there, but we're going to need one down on this side as well. Now uh, over here is fairly good overlap, but I might just put in because we... Oh, we don't need any more houses, although we might need a few more houses. We probably will need more houses. So let's do another row of huts over here. I think having two of each of these places is not the end of the world. Okay, and then another one down here. Oh, that's, that corner still doesn't get covered, actually. All right, that has to go in this middle section. And then that does cover all the current houses. So we'll have to see what this current section ends up becoming, because it'll probably have a tavern on this side as well, and a tavern also on that side. Now something seems to be going on over here. Isabella Rojas is back. The bordello is open for one day, one day, and a girl is dead. I will not stand for this. You either kill the not very nice person who did it and make an example of him or provide protection for the rest of the girls. It's too soon to start turning on one another. We'll provide more protection, but then the upkeep will cost. Or one death demands another. He'll be made to pay publicly. We'll need to build a new decoration. I don't know if we have the ability to do that. Or we need more time to think about it. We'll be able to return to this window later. I think we just need to protect these girls. You know, they are doing a job. They need to be safe doing said job. All right, workers are now being provided with rope. So that is now finished. Jack knows where I am and is coming for me. I won't run away again. Let's prepare for his arrival. Oh no, build two defensive towers. All right, so in seafaring, we now have defensive towers tier one. So... I guess we're gonna stick one in on, on there and then one on this side. And they probably also need roads. Oh, it's Lucky Jack Howell. Lucky Jack Howell, what a cowardly man. If treachery and deceit wore skin, it would look like this guy. Never one to enter a fight with the odds stacked against him. He prefers to meddle from a safe distance. Jack doesn't look you in the eye when he pulls the trigger. He gets someone else to do it, usually a friend. Even with all the crews he's double crossed or swindled, he somehow avoided waking up with a dagger in his eyes. That's why we call him Lucky. That luck has to run out sooner or later. All right, but there's three ships against R2. Oh, but we do have our towers also fighting. Oh, but I don't think we're gonna be taking these down. We don't have the ability to impact this. Oh no, we lost our ship. That's our ship. Oh no. We don't have the ability to influence this battle. So we had no chance there. There's nothing for us to do. Well, well, don't you look familiar. I'm sorry for what happened to your father. Awful accident, that. Don't let it put any silly ideas like revenge in your head. This archipelago is ours. Make any trouble and something might just happen to you too. Rude. <laughs> they destroyed our boats. So there's no avoiding it. Jack knows we're here. The way I see it, we either pack up and leave or we pick up the pieces, repair our fleet and take the fight to the jerks that have wronged us twice. What's it gonna be, Captain? The only option is to accept, so I guess that's what we're doing. Now we need to build a shipyard and I'm assuming that's to rebuild our fleet because of course we no longer have, we no longer have a ship. 
All right, let's take a look. And I can't place it in here. Is that just because I don't have enough materials? We'll have to wait. Wait, I think we're just missing materials. We need a few more planks. And we've got a new building unlocked, a sailmaker. So let's take a look at that as well. Sailmaker requires cotton plantation. So I guess we'll do the same thing here. Let's just continue this. I feel like that has worked. And then the sailmaker, can I fit it down? Oh, I've built these in a bad spot. Where are we going to put a sailmaker? I mean, I could put it on this side there's a brothel over here now so anyway so we're not gonna be putting anything like too crazy there so let's put the sailmaker here they have to bring the cotton which i need to actually plant all the way down there but i think it brings them closer to where they're probably going to be using it which is going to be the shipyard anyways because my guess is this is where we're going to make the sails so we're going to need it at the shipyard all right the next thing here is about upgraded housing so upgrade housing to tier two gives us a higher tier of workers so not any sort of peasants can just build a sail. You need skilled laborers for that. And only skilled laborers are going to live in a house. And to upgrade the house, they need to have all their needs and wants met, which luckily they do at the moment. So we can upgrade some of these houses. So maybe we'll just choose like this little neighborhood here and we can upgrade the houses in this neighborhood. There we go. So six houses have been upgraded. I think that should be quite good. Now to get this ship built, do you need to actually get the shipyard in? There we go. Okay. Looks like we just got enough planks so that can now go in. I'm gonna need to build a road over to it. All right, at the shipyard now, we can choose from lots of different types of ships. So there's different classes here. If we wanna start construction. We can do a cog, a catch, a bark, a brig, a brigantine, and a frigate. But I'm guessing the only thing we're gonna be able to do is the cog for the start. It takes 10 planks and 10 sails. I don't have 10 sails or 10 planks at the moment. We need to be building more of those. We can also change the name of it by just cycling through this. Doesn't look like we can choose our own name. I have to just choose one from these. We can also choose what it looks like a little bit so we can choose what's on the flag. We can either have the captain's wheel or an anchor and we can choose the wood decoration on the outside. So a few choices, I guess that's the sail material. Uh, but we don't have the materials just yet, so we just need to wait for our cotton to grow and be brought down to the sail workers. Currently, they are waiting, waiting on the cotton. Now, we might want to put a road going from here over just so that the people can get maybe into that neighborhood a bit easier. That could speed up the movement of workers, possibly. I don't know if they actually have to go to their home. I mean, I do see people walking around and doing jobs, but not... Oh, actually, there's people in these neighborhoods, but they don't seem to be really using the roads. Nobody is walking outside of the current area they're in. If they're in the marketplace, that's where they just stay. They don't come out of there. If they're at their house, they just stay at their house. Now, we can see up here, we got planks 15 at the moment. Sails, we now have two. Uh, I guess this is all the ship material. So we've got eight rope, two sails, and 15 planks going up slowly intermediary is wood logs and sugar doesn't look like we have any stored of those we have some fish so these are the wants and needs stuff so we've got 13 rum seven rope and 32 fish currently stored now i don't know if having just one of these isn't going to be enough considering how many planks we need to be using now you can upgrade the storage um and that just upgrades the storage as well so i don't think that's what we need i think at the sugar plantation we're running out of storage space there was something just kind of on top of that, we might have to upgrade these for more storage, but we'll see. I need to get this building built first, so I think we'll just tick time on a little faster and see how it goes. Oh, I did see something else, though. While we're waiting for the sails to tick up in seafaring, I did see the Captain's Inn. Eligible pirate captains can be recruited at Captain's Inns. The total number of pirate captains is displayed here. Captain's Inns must be placed on Captain's Inns wreckages, and that's what we have over here. Let's place that in. Any captain worth their salt will be at the Captain's Inn. Feel free to pick out the captain you like the look of, but just remember that you can't have them all. So new captains have arrived. We've got level four, Jonathan Fletcher. Now at level 20, he has increased performance when attacking a cog, catch, or bark. Level 30, increased performance when attacking a brig, brigantine, or frigate. Or level 40, increased performance when attacking any ship class. And that looks like most people have very similar. Uh, this one though has um, Nathaniel Blackwood has increased performance when attacking a galleon or man of war. They do all cost slightly different. Now, he seems to be the best. Oh, he's level five, Nathaniel, so he's a little bit better. This does cost more. Uh, Elizabeth Cromwell costs quite a bit, considering she's only level two. I wonder why that is. I don't know, but we don't need them just yet. We need, I mean, we do need to hire a captain, but we need a ship first for them to actually, you know, captain. So let's start the construction here. We can do the cog now. I think... I think I like the captain's wheel better. I mean, I like the anchor. Let's go captain's wheel for this one. We could, I mean, maybe we can do different ones. 
Ah, we actually need to hire the captain before we can start building this. Okay, I guess we go back actually getting to get our captain. Um, I mean, I'm all for like female captains, but Jonathan and Tobias are cheaper. <laughs> Do we have gold problems? Oh, we don't have gold problems. Well, let's get Nathaniel then. He's a higher level. Nathaniel, you're in. Why is Richard Gray in here now? I don't need Richard Gray though right now. I need to build a ship. Start the construction of our cog named the, <laughs> the Fantasy. I love a good pun as much as the next person. So we'll get the fantasy in. Captain will be uh, Nathaniel Blackwood. So assign him in there and let's build ourselves a ship and look at it go. All right, that's going to be a fairly good ship. Then we can go back out and start getting stuff out there. Oh, it just shot right out. <laughs> Goodness me. All right, looking out in the waters. Oh, here's somebody coming. Uh Oh, an enemy. I just built this ship. They're definitely an enemy. They've got uh, skull and crossbones, which is never good. Although actually it's what, skull and cross rapiers. Jack sent a scout to keep an eye on us. Maybe he knew that we weren't going to take a beating and fall in line. Let's send them to the bottom of the ocean. All right, Mary, if you say so, I guess we'll go out there. Each ship has a ship action. Yes, we know we have abilities, so our scatter shot, and we'll just try to use that as often as we can. Scatter shot is better, I think, against lots of enemies, not one enemy, but that's okay. Let's grab all the bits in the water as well. I don't know about you, Captain, but seeing the scout ship fall beneath the waves brought a tear to my eye. I think we've got a fighting chance of pulling this off. But we need to hurry with materials. Oh no, there's a whole little piratey outcove. There's a clay deposit on Rat Island that we have to use to start brick protection. We'll just need to clear out the ragtag pirates that have set up there. All right, so that is our new goal. Now to get onto that island, we're going to need quite a big group of ships, I imagine. Let's repair our ship first off. Leave him there for a second. We're going to need all sorts of things. So we've unlocked a lot of other things, including a new need for our people. The people want boar hunting lodge. So boar hunting lodges gather boars for their meat and to produce leather and grease. I mean, those both sound very good, but we need bricks in order to do that. We don't have bricks yet, and we're gonna be needing to get all that clay to produce these bricks. But of course, then we've got to go to Rat Island and there are ships all over the place, enemy ships, everywhere and i am so excited for us trying to battle our way over to their ships with well hopefully a few more in our fleet <laughs> but we will do that in the next episode we are going to have this as a mini to medium to large series we'll see how it goes and see how we do and if you've enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like and don't forget to subscribe if you're new here and let's go take on rat islands in the next episode thank you so much for watching take care Bye bye